Hey everyone. <laughs> Here we are the day before the new moon. The new moon is on Tuesday the 26th and this new moon is going to bring a lot of change in our lives and some movement into our lives. So I told you at the end of last week to be thinking about your intentions for this week, for this new moon. And um, wow, I mean, I feel a lot has changed all around us and most importantly within us. This right here, our mindset is like, think about where you were mentally and emotionally and spiritually at the beginning of 2019. Here we are about to embark on our last month of this decade. The last month of 2019. Hello, goodbye 2019. We're done with you. <laughs> we are so done, right? Oh my gosh, it's been so hard. And think about where you are now. All the things that we went through in 2019 has brought us to this moment though. To this mindset. To this part of ourselves and we have to be thankful for that because wow have we had some growth this year 2019 has definitely been about growth oh my gosh without <laughs> without the things that have come into our lives this year we wouldn't be where we are right now just think about that for a moment it's been hard. Oh, it's been painful. It's been trying. It's been filled with all kinds of emotions. Fear, anxiety, anger, oh, sadness. But look at us. We made it. That's all that matters, right? We made it through the year together. Now, this is our last week of November before we move into dreamy november and i mean dreamy november dreamy december what am i talking about and why is december so dreamy because we start seeing some of our dreams manifesting some of them not all of them and for some it may be just a part of the dream part of the dream is a whole lot better than none of the dream right yes so see instead of waiting till you get the whole pie to be happy we have to be happy right now with this piece of the pie. Because we are putting it together, right? We are putting our lives together in the way it's supposed to be. It's like, how do I want to say this? I'm sorry if this video is going to end up a little bit long. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not going to be sorry about it. No, it's going to be long. You sit around and you listen. Because I've got some stuff to say. <laughs> Spirit does anyway. Um, we were born without any of these problems, right? Now, we can argue the fact of the physical problems you might have when you're born, but spiritually and emotionally, we weren't born where we are now. No, we didn't have any of that. And over the course of a lifetime, up until now, this is who we have become. And we've probably spent the majority of it trying to unbecome, right? Trying to get rid of all the things that didn't feel right to us. And it's been so hard to let go of those things. There's so many different factors. You know, you have society and, and everybody is saying, this is how you should be. This is the way it should be. This is what a perfect life looks like. This is what this looks like and that looks like. And you should be that. So we spend so much of our time first trying to be that. And still unhappy. Or having a really hard time struggling and fighting. Trying to make yourself and your life look like that. Then at some point we give in. We're like okay. So that is clearly not the way I need to be. Or my not life needs to be. Clearly I need to be something else. And so does my life. And at that point. At that single point right there is when it all changes. Inward first and then outward. That's right. And when we get to that point, things stop being so difficult. Because it's like trying to pry something out of a clenched fist. We're holding on so tight to the idea of 
what we think and what others think we should be and look like and act like and all of that and what our life should be like, look like, taste like and all of that. Then when we let go, we open that clenched fist and release anything that doesn't fit. So the change is easier. The fight, the struggle, it's still going to be there. It's not going to be so hard, is it? Because our, our fists, blah, 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 isn't clenched so tightly around those wrong ideas. And if you get nothing else from this video whatsoever from the message of the week, let that be the one. Let that message be it. Let go of your grip on what you think or what you thought and what everybody else thinks that you should be and your life should be. Let go of that idea and let it be exactly what it's meant to be. Open up and let go of those wrong ideas for you. Now, having said that, let's look at this week and the new moon. What? My sweater got, got my Fitbit band. <laughs> like, what was that? Something's holding me back. Ah, let go. <laughs> 2019, let go of me. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Down the little bunny trail, didn't I? So, this week is about Letting go of those ideas. The new moon is all about everything new. A new you, a new mindset, a new way of feeling and being. New endeavors, new jobs, new people, new everything. All the aspects of life and you that you can possibly think of. The new moon embraces those things. Embraces all things new. So we release all of the stuff that doesn't fit. All of that old crap that we've been carrying around. And we look at, okay, it's a new day. How can I start this brand new day? And every day we need to do that. We need to wake up and no matter what happened yesterday, how can I start today on the right foot? What can I do differently to change the day, to change the outcome? To get to where I want to be. And once we start implementing those things, Life does get better. gets a little bit easier. It will never be without complications. Let me repeat that a million times. It will never be without complications. The complications help us grow and help us become what we were always meant to be. Let me make that clear. But they're not so hard once we let go of trying to force them into being. And let things just be as they are. So this week is about learning those kind of lessons. I'm sure you're going to find yourself at some point this week holding on real tight to something and having a struggle. You're going to battle. You're going to feel like, oh, why can't I move forward? It's because you're holding on too tight to something that's not supposed to move forward with you. How about that? <laughs> I feel a lot of people, and here come the goosebumps. Oh, my goodness, on steroids. A whole lot of people all at once went, oh, shit. That's what I've been doing. Holding on to something that's not meant to move forward with me. And that's what this whole week is about. Letting go of those things. Recognizing those things, first of all. Changing that mindset to, how can I change this moment? What's a solution? Let's not look at the terrible things that have happened in the past and are possibly happening around you at the moment. And let's look at what can I do to change it right here, right now, moving forward? Mm -hmm. Isn't that a great way to look at life? Every single day. We have to be mindful of this and do that every day. So, I'm right here with you, everyone. I am with you on this same journey. We're going to do it together. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, you have the power to create the life you've always dreamed of. Mm -hmm, yeah, we do. Get outside, touch the earth, cleanse your space, do your meditation to remember that this way, the wolf, the raven, and spirit, we are sending you unconditional love. Mwah. Make it magical.